Ladies and gentlemen, the next awards we're about to present are the GWHBEA Tennessee Walking Horse Hall of Fame Awards. This is our second year to present those awards. The horses that are receiving the honor tonight were voted on by the Hall of Fame Committee, consisting of the Standing Executive Committee, TWHBEA past presidents, and members of the Master Breeders Committee. The horses had to qualify in one or more of three categories, which were breeding, show ring, accomplishment, and ambassadorship of the breed. Tonight, we induct horses that qualified in all three of those categories. For 2016, five horses were selected to be inducted. For each horse, we'll ask that representatives please come forward as we call your name to have a group picture taken for all horses that are being inducted. We're going to begin with our first inductee tonight, which is Pride of Midnight HF. It's black scouting fold in 1966 by Midnight Sun and Pride of Standing, bred by HL World and owned by Harlemsdale Farm. Pride of Midnight HF was from the last crop of foals by Midnight Sun. He was started by Doc Warren and Sean Sparingham. He was genetically gifted with shoulders that allowed for great natural lift that his owner thought would be the future of the breed. Pride was put to stud at the age of four, and over the course of his service, he produced 1,703 registered foals. He sired four world grand champions, 1982, Pride's Secret Threat, 1983, Delight of Pride, 1985, Pride's Final Edition, and 1986, Pride's Jewelry Star alongside multi-world champion, Pride's Gold Coin, Pride's Genius, and the incomparable Pride's Generator. 1982 started the Pride of Midnight HF Dynasty at the World Grand Championship levels, and beginning that year, all the stallions who have earned this title are direct descendants except for four horses. All other winners have been his sons, grandsons, or great-grandsons. 31 total from 1982 World Grand Champion Pride's Secret Threat to the 2013 and 2015 World Grand Champion, I Am Jose. 31 total between those two World Grand Champions. 2016 honors is a great grandson. This outstanding production record is even more amazing considering over half of his foals were born from his last two crops of foals. Accepting the award tonight on behalf of Pride of Midnight HF is Rocky Jones of Harlandsdale Farm. Ladies and gentlemen, our first production is Inductee will be Ebony Masterpiece. Ebony Masterpiece, a black stallion with black deer hind socks, star, and snip fold in 1956 by Skipper Son Midnight and Lady Lee. Bred by HL World, Ebony was started by Bud Seaton and showed immediate prowess, winning the two year old state class at the celebration. He was injured and missed his three year old year, recuperating for a time in Herring, Illinois, before being brought back to Middle Tennessee as a four year old. He was purchased a year later by Billy Hill at the urging of Sam Pascal to put in training. As a five-year-old, he showed 33 times winning 31 blues. He walked away with the 1962 World Grand Championship with Sam Pascal as the masterful showman. Every masterpiece was retired to stud at SW Beach Stables following his 1962 win. He produced four World Grand Champions, 1969 World Grand Champion, Ebony Senator, 1974's Another Masterpiece, 1980s, Ebony's Mountain Man, and 1983's, Ebony's Bold Curry. He is grandsire and great-grandsire to 1995 Pride's Final Edition, 1998 World Grand Champion Doc's High Tribute, 91's Flashy Pride, 1994's Jim's Armed and Dangerous, 1997's Generator Santana, 1998's Masquerading, and 1999 RPM. He has the distinction of producing the highest number of foals produced by any Tennessee walking horse stallion to date, having, having sired 3,555 foals. Every senator, the 1969 World Grand Champion, was from his first crop of foals with his last crop falling in 1988. His list of descendant winners is still being added today. Steve Beach is with us tonight to accept this award on behalf of Ebony Masterpiece. Steve managed the breeding program for his entire life. We make a very special presentation to our second of five Hall of Fame inductees tonight, a very deserving Ebony Masterpiece.
present to you tonight. A chestnut stallion, star, mixed mane and tail, fall in 1959, 1959, a midnight sun in Wilson Smith's chance. Read by Audi S. Dean, Sons Delight Dean began his show career with Neil Branscom in the Junior World Championship taking reserve. He was purchased for Frey Eskew by Sam Pascal as a top prospect to campaign for the 1963 World Grand Championship. The horse convincingly won the stake that year. Sons Delight was one of the most popular World Grand Champions of his time. He was considered the perfect model for the breed in looks, manners, and action. Sons Delight Dean stood at Harlandsdale Farm and sired 2,868 foals. He sired Delight bumming around and produced many exceptional broodmares that contributed his potency to the gene pool through notables of Delight of Pride, Pride's Gold Coin, Pride's Genius, and Jen's Major General, sire Jose Jose. The name of Sons Delight Dean appears in the pedigrees of many, many world grand champions and world champions and those 21 World Grand Champions. 1973 is Delight's Bumming Around. 1984 is Delight of Pride. 87 is Coins Hard Cash. 88 is Doc's High Tribute. 95 is Pride Sundance Star. 97 is Generator Santana. 2000, Cash for Keys. 2001, Pride's Jubilee Encore. 2003, The Whole Nine Yards. 2005, Main Power. 2007, Master of Jazz. 2008, Santana's El Nino. 2010, The Coach. 2011, Game World. 2012, Walk Time Charlie. And 2015, or 2013, 14, and 15 World Grand Champion, I Am Jose, and our 2016 World Grand Champion honors. All have Sons Delight Dean in their pedigree. Tonight, great nephew of breeder Ollie Dean, Wayne Dean, is present to accept this award for our inductee, Sons Delight Dean. Mary Legs F4, a bay mare with four stockings, strip born 1911 by Allen and Nell DeMint, and bred by A.M. DeMint, an outstanding undefeated Wingland, top show mare winning the Tennessee State Fair state class as a three year old. Her canter was perfect, and her flat walk and running walk were as great as any ever displayed by a Tennessee walking horse at that time. Her greatness as a show mare was matched by her potency as a broodmare. They have a 13 folds, including Last Chance, Sniff, Bud Allen, Major Allen, Little Mary Liggs, Mary Boy, and Mary King. Perhaps there's no better way of illustrating Mary Liggs' Mary influence to walking horse breed than by tracing her in the lineage of nearly every world grand champion from Black Angel all the way to honors. Mary Legs produced 18 folds. Dr. Bradley Woodruff is here accepting the award in honor of Mary Legs F4. Choose, so they're coming over there to you for one group photo. Bring 
impressive resume and an impressive trip to the Dutch Institute for our Hall of Fame class. Look at me, Steve. <laughs> 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 